Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all this braid out that I did on my hair using smaller braids. As you all can see, I did go ahead and wash and condition my hair. I did leave my hair in these sections after I deep condition, only because my hair has been getting super tangled lately and I just did not feel the need to take them out of the sections to have more hair to detangle. I am starting off by sectioning my hair and I love to use my red tail comb to do this because it kind of gets the part straight but also because of human error it's not always perfect so it just works for me today i am using my curl enhancing smoothie because i am currently out of the curl stretch pudding so i did opted to go ahead and use this as my cream and moisturizer today and i'm just making sure that i work that in my hair to get it right inside of those hair strands once I do that, I am going to follow up with my wet brush because this helps distribute the product evenly and it gets out little tangles that may have appeared since washing. I am going on top with the Dew Mousse and this is to give me a little bit of hold. However, my hair was still soft and very moisturized at the end of this hairstyle. I am going for smaller sections so I will only do about three days three braids in the back section here but I am going to make sure that I braid tightly at the root because this is how you prevent that puffiness that you see in less definition at the root so make sure you braid tightly and once I get all the way down to the ends as I'm braiding I am going to finish off with a twist because this helps take it down as well as coiling those ends <music> to the next section I am going to apply the same products and make sure I work them through as you all can see right off the bat as I begin to work my hair through up the center of my head my hair gets much thicker and I'm going to make sure that I completely detangle that section as well as it did get just slightly tangled and it is thicker hair so I just want to make sure I get that product distributed evenly before I add the mousse and begin braiding now a key tip to remember as you begin to work your way up throughout your head you want to make sure that you stagger these plaits okay so that means that you don't want the plaits sitting directly on top of each other and you want them to lay in the cracks and gaps if that makes sense so just like this braid is going to lay closer to my ear and it is not directly on top of the braid that is on the first row So I have three braids in the first row, five in the second, and then I hit myself with another five and then I did three right in the crown of my head. I will say that it is time for me to probably cut my hair only because I'm noticing that the hair in the center of my head is a little bit shorter than the rest of the hair on my head. For some reason the back just tends to retain more length than the center because the center is my stress spot. So I am going to even that up a little bit and my hair may look a little bit shorter but I am fine with that because I want my hair to look even all over my head. We are all done with plaiting our hair. In the front sections, I did do four, then three, and then one, and I mirrored this on the same side. And I tell you all this just to give you all a general perspective on how many plaits I have, what size they are, and basically to prep yourself if you decide to do this hairstyle. Of course, I take off the SS product to help with drying time. And also, I am actually going to sit up under the dryer for this hairstyle because I want to seal that moisture in. And I watched a video from a cosmetologist and she was like, do you all let hairstylists let you walk out with wet hair? So I'm like, okay, I get that. Maybe I should sit under the dryer to really seal my hairstyles because it really makes sense. But of course, I am going to get the last little bit of this curl shine. You all, I really need to order some more and stop playing, but I'm adding that to my hair. This stuff is really amazing for adding oil to the hair, but I really like the spray nozzle. So 
um, because it's not that much in there my spray nozzle is not working so I have to pour it on my hands but I am sectioning my hair off with these scrunchies only to make sure that I don't miss a plait now one key trick that I like to use when taking out braid outs is that when you get two strands that are on the opposite end of the plait meaning that you have one strand in the middle you can literally pull them apart and the braid will come loose until it gets to like a stopping point where it's like too tight and you have to sit your nail or the tail end of a comb in it to get it out so that is the process that i like to work with just to make sure that i'm not taking too much time with taking these down because it does require a little bit more time than what it would take if you had two strand twist in I did get a lot of definition from these small packs, plaques, which I absolutely love. Now for separating, only where it naturally separates. You all can see it, just smooth it down and then you can see how those strands want to fall apart. I know you all hear that all the time, but literally that is exactly what it is. Only where it naturally separates. my hair looks like with a middle part as you all can see I have a lot of definition and I'm super excited by it and it has a lot of volume and movement which I absolutely love with natural hair however I am going to show you all what it looks like with the side part because I did opt for a side part with this hairstyle so to do the side part, I'm just going to flip some of that hair over and then I am going to use two bobby pins just to slip them inside of my hair strands to keep the hair in place. Knowing that when you style your hair while it's wet, you are basically setting your hair for what you want it to look like when it's dry. So sometimes you may need a few bobby pins to hold everything in place, but you can hide them just like I did here. As always, I hope you all really, really enjoyed the video and found it useful, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya!